This is a video on how to change the control method of, of um, when you're playing the Real Racing 3 game. If you're new to the game you might not know this. Um, and also if you've been using the controller for ages and ages you might even forget where it is. So I was going to run through it. So you might want to change the controller method if say you're going to lend the game to a kid or you know they might want it, something easy they might not be able to drive it the way you're driving it so it gives you the options of many different methods really of how to play the game it can be easier or it can be, be a bit more realistic um, depending on your choice so from the home screen on the bottom left hand side you'll see a gear or a cog wheel um, and that's where you're going to need to click now if you're playing the game you want to order it at the time you're going to be pressing the top left hand corner the pause button I'm sure you're used to that and that will go to the, the the normal resume and retire screen on the bottom left hand there you've still got the gear or the cog icon which will give you the options um, of a few other things in there so selecting that gear or cog or uh, say on the home screen they're both the same you'll get the options down the bottom there and the cog will give you a further five options there so the one we're going to do today is the controller and this is going to change the uh, the way you drive the game basically so it'll open up and it will give you several different methods the first one there tilt A it says it's the default view that's saying you'll tilt the phone or the iPad whatever you're playing on left and right and that will steer um, it's going to automatically accelerate but you'll manually need to brake it so you just turn it left and right and then brake on the corners that's the idea of that one the next one is again tilt steering uh, you'll need to manually accelerate and manually brake I think you'll find most of the people that play this uh, a lot and been playing for a long time will probably use this method I would guess the next one is uh, touch uh, touch steering so that little wheel you see there that's gonna you can be able to turn that left and right to steer it this one will accelerate automatically uh, but you'll still need to brake it with a little brake pedal on the right hand side there the next one is called will a flipped so it's just the other way around you've got the brake on the left and the steering wheel on the right it just depends really where you know if, if you or whoever's going to be using these is left or right handed uh, which will make the decision for you on that one I'd imagine will B uh, versions on here there's two one is, the first one will be is the steering wheels on the left and you've got manual accelerator and brake both on the right hand side brakes on the top accelerators on the bottom and then you've got a flipped version of that where the steering wheels on the right uh, you've still obviously got the brake on the left hand side at the top and accelerator down the bottom you steer it obviously by turning a little steering wheel icon that again will depend if you're right or left handed um, for that one I'd imagine. the next one is called buttons and that is touch steering with arrows left and right and you've got a brake pedal in the middle uh, and that one it will automatically accelerate for you so it's one of these things really you need to have a little try out and see what works best for you or works best for whoever's using it now to uh, calibrate the device once it's done this um, just gives you the best results and sometimes you might find that the when you're playing the game as you start the car will just go by itself right straight into a wall or left straight off of the track now that can be sometimes can be the calibration's gone wrong to so you may well have to go into this calibration and reset that and this is how you'd go into 
resetting that side of things on that. Uh, another way that can happen, the steerage just goes just goes a bit odd sometimes. So what you can do is just actually exit off of the off of the game completely, not just sort of put on a taskbar, but actually close it right down, put it back on, and usually that will sort that out. But if it's just if you feel like it's just pulling a bit to the left or a bit to the right, then do the calibration. That will usually clear that for you. It will then say it's calibrating, and then it only takes a few seconds. Once that's finished, it will say it's it's completed. Um, click continue. So you just click that continue, and then you'll be back to the selected. Uh, option that you've got. There's also on there a steering sensitivity button which goes from 1 to 10 I think it is and that is just it's it's that's when you get a bit more advanced really and the best way of doing that is to just play the game and get a get a windy track somewhere like Melbourne and just use that and you'll see how much in, how much influence the game is giving the car as it goes around the corners and just change that just try to say at three then try it at nine and you'll see which works best for you and you can just adjust it in between there somewhere and just click OK when that's finished and you'll be back to the home screen or you'll be back to the um, freeze part of the game if you're actually playing a game at the time and then all you do from that point is then just click resume and you'll be back in again with your new settings.